In the year 2175, humanity stood on the brink of a monumental achievement, the mastery of antimatter propulsion. For centuries, scientists and engineers had pursued the elusive dream of harnessing the immense energy potential locked within antimatter. It was a substance of unparalleled power, capable of unleashing vast amounts of energy when annihilated with regular matter. The breakthrough came in the form of a revolutionary reactor design that could safely contain and utilize antimatter. This technology, combined with advancements in spacecraft engineering, paved the way for a new era of space exploration. The first antimatter-powered spacecraft, christened the Odyssey, was set to embark on a historic mission beyond the confines of the solar system. Captain Elena Ramirez stood on the deck of the Odyssey, gazing out at the vastness of space as the final preparations were underway. She was a seasoned astronaut, having commanded numerous missions in the past, but this one felt different. It was not just a journey to explore distant worlds, but a leap into the unknown realms of physics and cosmology. Captain Ramirez, all systems are go for launch, the chief engineer reported, her voice tinged with excitement and anticipation. Thank you, Commander Lee, Ramirez replied, her eyes still fixed on the star-studded horizon. Initiate the antimatter propulsion sequence and prepare for departure. As the countdown began, the hum of the antimatter reactor reverberated through the ship, a testament to humanity's ingenuity and determination. The Odyssey's engines roared to life, propelling the sleek vessel away from Earth and towards the unknown reaches of space. The initial stages of the Odyssey's journey were smooth, as the crew familiarized themselves with the intricacies of antimatter propulsion. They conducted experiments, fine-tuned the reactor's settings, and marveled at the efficiency of their new power source. However, it wasn't long before they encountered their first major challenge, the scarcity of antimatter. Captain, our antimatter reserves are depleting faster than projected, Chief Scientist Dr. Marcus Chen reported during a routine briefing. At our current rate of consumption, we'll exhaust our supply within six months. Ramirez frowned, contemplating the implications of their dwindling fuel reserves. Are there any alternatives or ways to replenish our antimatter stockpile? Chen shook his head regretfully. Unfortunately, creating antimatter is an energy-intensive process that requires specialized facilities. We're not equipped to produce it on board, and our reserves were already limited due to the difficulty of obtaining antimatter in the first place. The crew faced a dilemma. They could either conserve their antimatter reserves and limit their exploration range, or push forward at their current pace and risk running out of fuel before reaching their planned destinations. Despite the challenges posed by limited antimatter reserves, the crew of the Odyssey remained undeterred in their quest for exploration. They recalibrated their trajectory, opting for a more conservative approach that prioritized fuel efficiency without sacrificing their overarching mission objectives. As the Odyssey ventured deeper into space, the crew encountered a myriad of wonders and challenges. They discovered ancient derelict spacecraft drifting in the void remnants of civilizations long gone. They navigated through turbulent cosmic storms, their antimatter shields tested to their limits. They made contact with alien species, forging alliances and exchanging knowledge that expanded their understanding of the universe. One particularly memorable encounter occurred when the Odyssey stumbled upon a rogue planet with a thriving ecosystem unlike anything seen before. The planet, dubbed Eden by the crew, was a sanctuary of life amidst the cosmic expanse of barren worlds and uninhabitable environments. It sparked discussions among the crew about the possibility of finding other havens of life and the ethical considerations of colonization and intervention. As the Odyssey continued its journey, pushing ever closer to the speed of light, the fabric of space-time began to unravel in unexpected ways. The crew experienced temporal anomalies, glimpses of alternate realities, and phenomena that challenged their understanding of physics and cosmology. One such revelation came when the Odyssey encountered a rift in space that led to a parallel universe. The crew witnessed mirror versions of themselves, living in a world where historical events had taken different paths and the laws of nature diverged from their own. Dr. Chen, ever the curious scientist, proposed a daring experiment sending a probe through the rift to gather data and potentially establish communication with the inhabitants of the parallel universe. 
The crew debated the risks and ethical implications, but ultimately decided to proceed, driven by their insatiable thirst for knowledge. The probe returned with astonishing findings. The parallel universe was home to civilizations that had achieved technological marvels far beyond anything humanity had envisioned. They had mastered interdimensional travel, harnessed exotic energies, and unlocked the secrets of the multiverse. This revelation opened new avenues of exploration and collaboration. The crew of the Odyssey exchanged information with their counterparts from the parallel universe, sharing insights and theories that enriched their collective understanding of the cosmos. As the Odyssey's journey neared its conclusion, Captain Ramirez gathered the crew for a reflective discussion on their experiences and discoveries. They sat in the ship's observation deck, gazing out at the stars and contemplating the vastness of the universe. It's been a remarkable journey, Ramirez began, her voice tinged with nostalgia. We've seen wonders beyond imagination, encountered challenges that tested our limits, and forged connections with beings from distant worlds. Lieutenant Patel, the communications officer, nodded in agreement, and yet amidst all the marvels and mysteries, we've also come face to face with the realities of our limitations, the scarcity of antimatter, the ethical dilemmas of exploration, and the fragility of our existence in the cosmic scale. Dr. Chen chimed in, his eyes alight with passion. But it's precisely these challenges that drive us forward, that fuel our curiosity and determination to explore, to learn, and to push the boundaries of what's possible. The crew shared stories and insights from their journey, each member contributing to a tapestry of experiences that encapsulated the essence of human exploration. They discussed the implications of their discoveries, the ethical considerations of interacting with alien civilizations, the responsibilities of stewardship towards habitable worlds, and the ongoing quest for sustainable energy sources. As the Odyssey prepared to return to Earth, laden with data, artifacts, and memories of their Odyssey through space and time, Captain Ramirez spoke words that echoed the sentiments of every crew member. We may have traveled to the edge of the known universe and glimpsed the wonders of the multiverse, but our journey is far from over. The cosmos beckons us with its mysteries, challenges, and infinite possibilities. As we continue to explore and expand our horizons, let us do so with humility, curiosity, and a deep respect for the cosmic tapestry that binds us all. And with that, the Odyssey set course for home, carrying with it the collective wisdom and spirit of humanity's greatest adventure yet.